We used to take eight weeks to ship a feature. Research, design, development, the whole cycle. Now, two weeks, same team, same quality. Hey, my name's Diane. I'm the co-founder of The Design Project. I've worked with Crocs and Mercedes-Benz. I've been a solo designer for five SaaS startups. And today we work with over 50 B2B SaaS teams helping to ship products quicker with AI. Some of our customers have been acquired by Slack, NVIDIA, and Mr. Beast. Today I'm walking you through our entire product stack. These aren't random AI tools. These are battle tested. By the end of this, you'll have the exact toolkit to cut your product cycle in half. And the research tools I'm going to show you at the end are my favorite, so stick around. Phase one, research. We're all trying AI tools to make research easier and more effective. This is a great use case for AI. I've tried all the options. Here are the ones I use regularly. Tool one, for call recordings, I use Fireflies and Granola. Why two? Because the AI works differently. They gather different summaries. And when I have two different summaries, it provides a more robust analysis. First, Fireflies. It joins your calls automatically. It transcribes everything perfectly. Way better than Granola or any other tool out there I've seen today. But more importantly, it has an MCP integration to connect directly with Claude to analyze deeper. I'll talk more about this in a second. Now, Granola. It's great because you can take notes within the AI note taker that's already transcribing your conversation. And you can easily share these summaries with teammates. Okay, now to analyze all my user testing. Once I have all the transcripts, I can pull them into Claude projects to analyze. This is where you can clearly define the purpose of the user testing sessions, what you wanna get out of it. But the key is you need to give it a detailed instructional prompt. Here is an example analysis prompt. Analyze these user interview transcripts and extract top five pain points, feature requests, current workarounds users are using, quotes that illustrate key problems, format as a summary table with supporting quotes. Now you should have a super robust document you can share with your team, you can get quality insights. Instead of six hours of manual work, now you can get insights in five minutes. And now that you have all these insights, you need to define the roadmap and next steps. And a tip if you want to do research on a specific type of user or a complex feature that came up in the user testing sessions, ask ChatGPT, Claude, and Perplexity to do research on the topic. Each AI has a different strength. ChatGPT structured knowledge, Claude reasoning, Perplexity recent web data. Combining them is going to get you the complete picture. Take the output of all of this deep research plug it into Claude and ask it to synthesize these three research reports into one document. Now you can take these insights to share with your team to put into a PRD. It's a great way to do research really quickly. So now that you have all these insights from user testing, deep research, you go into the planning and feature prioritization. Phase two, product roadmap and planning. This is where I suggest using no AI because this is a time when humans mean the most and will make the biggest impact. Get all of the main stakeholders in a room and have a conversation and plan out the next roadmap and features. AI can inform decisions, but strategic thinking needs to come from the decision makers. That's you and your team. Okay, now you have the roadmap, you have all the feature sets. Next, let's go into a specific feature and build out a PRD. Phase three, PRD creation. Your PM probably used to spend four to six hours creating a PRD before AI. Now, with the help of AI, you can do it in minutes. The tool I suggest using is ChatGPT. And how you do it is set up a project in ChatGPT, call it PRD Generator, upload three to five of the best PRDs you or your team has ever written, and in the product description, write, these are our PRD templates. When I give you feature details, create a PRD in this format. Now, to actually create the PRD, there are two ways. Option one, voice input talk through the PRD requirements to ChatGPT. What problems it solves, who it's for, key functionality, success metrics. I suggest using Whisperflow for this voice input. It is an insanely accurate voice to text. Whisper transcribes it, you paste it into your ChatGPT PRD, boom, full PRD written, perfect. Second option is getting on a team meeting and chatting through the feature. This you can use Fireflies for. You can feed that transcript into your ChatGPT PRD project and boom, 
you get the PRD. So instead of this taking four to six hours, it now can take 45 minutes on a quick call. I literally do this for every PRD I work on now. Phase four, rapid prototyping. The tool I use for this is Lovable. It is an AI prototyping tool that generates functional prototypes from text. Why I suggest Lovable over V0, Figma Make, is because it's way more intuitive for everyone, not just designers, not just devs, but PMs, stakeholders, anyone can go in Lovable text, prototype, boom. So how to use it is you take that PRD, you plug it into Lovable, and Lovable generates that functional prototype, interactions, even database functionality. What's important to know is it's not going to build a fully functional feature with your branding and your messaging and everything perfectly. It's just to start to generate some ideas and come up with some best practices that you and your team can use. Now we get to phase five, design and dev handoff. You've got that prototype. There are two paths you can take from here. Path A, simple feature straight to dev. You can do this when the feature is straightforward and that prototype from Lovable is good enough. Your devs can just pull from the prototype, your already defined design system. This is when you don't need any of that custom work. And a side note on creating tickets in Jira or Linear. There are a lot of ways to use AI. You can use ChatGPT from that PRD and tell it to help you generate a ticket for acceptance criteria. Or Jira does a lot of automations and you can create an auto ticket generator. Now the second design path. If the feature is complex, you need some UX branding elements, or you need custom interactions, you need to go to a designer. So you would hand off your PRD and your prototype to your design team. They would design it in Figma. For your designer that needs to do a little more designer research, you can set up a project in Claude. You can use this prompt. You are a UI UX designer. When I give you a feature PRD, I want you to provide relevant UX patterns from Nielsen Norman Group, best practices from IDEO, potential usability issues to watch out for. Obviously, you can expand on that depending on the product and the company that you work at. This doesn't replace looking for real inspo, but it does create some really great mockups with some proven patterns. When the designs are built in Figma, now your designer can actually build the front end code. For this, I suggest using Claude code with cursor. Claude code generates high quality production ready code and your devs are probably already using this tool. This is where I don't suggest using Figma make or lovable because the code is not up to the high standards that your devs probably need. So now designers can take their Figma files, connect to the Figma MCP into Claude code within cursor and get front end code. Developers can review it, make changes and have a starting point to move way faster. I've seen designers who have never shipped code, ship front end code within a week. It's wild. Phase six dev tools. Your devs should be using AI coding tools with autocomplete. And if your devs aren't using AI, they should be. It's not about replacing the dev, it's about moving faster on repetitive tasks so they can focus on architecture and harder problems. So again, I suggest Claude Code within Cursor or instead of Cursors, a lot of devs I work with use VS Code. So now let's recap. Research, Firefly's transcription for users. Granola, transcription, quick insights. Claude, transcription analysis. Multi AI synthesis, Claude, ChatGPT, perplexity, to get the best deep research. Product roadmap and planning, no AI. Get stakeholders in a room. This is where humans beat AI every time. PRD creation, chat GPT projects with past PRDs, whisper flow for voice input, and again, fireflies for team meetings. Prototyping, lovable, easy for non-designers and devs to use. Design and dev handoff. Claude code within cursor for front end code. Designer research, Claude project, Nielsen Norman Group, IDO, accessibility, dev tools, Claude Code, Cursor VS Code. The result is a feature that used to take eight weeks can now take two weeks with these tools in this framework. So there you have it, the complete AI product stack. This isn't about cutting corners. It's about eliminating waste, spending less time on repetitive tasks, more time talking to users, more time thinking strategically, and more time building the right things. This is what we use with our 50 plus B2B SaaS customers today. If you want help rolling this out with your team, reach out. I would love to help. Thanks and see you in the next episode.